no, 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 no. Alright, so Pain, uh, uh, I mean not Pain, Nagato and uh, Whitebeard just came out in this new All-Star update. Uh, I've got them both to relatively high level to focus on Nagato because I'm, I'm, I'm going to be really this is one of the best units of this update. So I'm going to go showcase them now. So you get Nagato by evolving Pain, where you need one of the, well, two of the force, uh, one of the human path, one of the demon path. Well, th that's the the names that they were given after they have to change every name. I just need Pain and three of the ninjas. And for Whitebeard, you need two Whitebeards and a lot of the soldiers from Alabaster. Alright, let's try them out. Let's just go to... Let's go to... Let's go to the Naruto one to showcase uh, Nagato, then we'll go to the... Um, Alabas showcase white beard. All right, so Nagato's starting price is 500. He plays him right off the bat. He's single target, but he has low spa. I think yeah, that's a three spa, 100 damage. But I have him on like level 57, I think. I'm not too sure. Uh, 45. So he has 25 range, uh, 100 damage and three spa, which is really good for a starting unit. They can take care of decelerators and everything. Look at his hand, bro. That's just... <laughs> it looks so weird. Uh, I hate it, what it is. Let's wait for... Oh, the specs didn't even load in. Let's see how they look. That looks really cool. It reminds me of Genos's one, but way cooler. Alright, so it's pretty cheap to upgrade, I think. His first one is 330. Um, we're not gonna place down a bolt mode because that's not really needed. Don't want any honey, do I? Let's hope he gets AoE because if he's just single target, that's going to be a waste of a 6 star. Because we know what happened to Rengoku, he was... He had so much damage when he first came out, but he was he was single target and he had really high spa, so... I don't know, they might do this for uh, Nagato. But right now he looks really good. Oh, that, that's a lot of upgrades, I think that's like 8 or 7, I'm not sure. Just keep, keep, keep keeping waves. But yeah, the update came out today, they dropped Mob, Adult Gun, um, let me think, Whitebeard, Nagato, uh, who else, I, I think that's it, Nagato, oh yeah, Blackbeard as well, and they dropped the new story mode map, which is the Mob Psycho one, I think, I'm not, I'm, I'm on like the Demon Slayer story since so I'm trying to get better units for it, but I'm not gonna record that since it's so boring in my opinion to play story mode. Alright, so it looks like they're gonna start leaking through now, but you can just upgrade. Hopefully he gets AoE soon. Oh, he gets AoE next upgrade. 1,500, that's, that's not bad. Alright. The model is really cool, because they added like his uh, arm from the anime. Looks really weird in-game, because, you know, Roblox characters are meant to have fingers, but... It is what it is. I mean, they got a really good hair model for it, because usually... The hair models are trash. Because, like, look at the one they use for, um... Uh, what's his name? The third Hokage. Like, bro, it's his Oro's hair. Like, come on, man. But they, they did good for this one. Just gonna keep on skipping waves so you can get the other upgrade quickly. So I've heard that this unit hits air units and ground units when he's max upgrades, which is really good. He's a hybrid unit, which can be probably really good for infinite mode. He's on 400 damage right now, so the damage scale is getting too much. I feel like he'll be high damage when he's fully upgraded though. Because this is a 6 star so he has to do some big damage. The effect is really really cool. I right, gotta say this again. The all star devs never fail on this. Alright we're close to the next upgrade now. Alright here we go we got AoE now. Oh hello. 
Oh, that looks cool as hell. That's just like the Astra, the Astra Path laser. Alright, so 600 damage, AoE. Right, let's put that on last now. Five spa, that's not too bad, that's pretty good. Very, uh, that's really good actually. Five spa is like the perfect amount for any unit. It's not too high, not too low, it's just in the middle. Yeah, these devs went crazy on this. Whoever made this, like, they did a good job. I also have the next upgrade. So Nagato is pretty cheap, but he has a lot of upgrades. See the attack animation. Yeah, they did good on the animations as well, because usually they're just kind of lackluster, like Minato. They rely on the effects a lot, but for this one, it has good effects and good animation, which is good to know. Alright, next upgrade. Oh, we got... Ooh, we got the de Sanitary Devastation after this one. Alright, so you get 10 range and 360 more damage. This unit looks really good so far. I'm sure it'll be really good because I know that it hits air units uh, when it's upgraded. It's cheap. I think it's cheaper than... Um, what's his name? Uh, Minato. Uh, actually, I'm not too sure about that. I'm just placing them to get rid of that guy. But yeah. Um, so far, Nagato's looking really promising for a 6 star. He could be really good in infinite mode, and he's definitely gonna have 1000 damage. And I'm, I've not even got him at level 80 yet, so I'm sure he'll be doing way more damage when I'm at level 80. Almost there. Just 200 more cash. Alright, there we go. Perfect. Can't buy it. Hello? Oh. There we go. Okay, the AoE can't get much larger. Let's see this. Oh, that's so cool. He's. Chibaka tends it, then he shoots it, and it explodes. Also, bro, that's really cool, actually. The devs went crazy on the effects. He's even like, falling particles of rocks and stuff. That's actually really cool. Yeah, the devs went crazy with this. There's one last upgrade, which gives him more damage. So yeah, he's doing Minato level damage at level 45, and I have my Minato at, like... Hold on, let me just... Placed on Minato after I've maxed out my uh, Nagato. Let's see, I compare damages. But yeah, the attack kind of like that. Like even the animation looks clean as hell. Even jumps back to avoid the, the rubble, which is a nice detail. <clears throat> All right, final upgrade. So his final upgrade at level forty-five. Oh, at 1,555 damage, 5 spa and 35 range. That is really good because it even hits air units, which is going to be really helpful in, in uh, infinite mode. This is our pain, I mean, uh, our Minotaur here, since we don't want to use damage on him, we just want to showcase the damage. This is such a cool attack animation, bro. These devs always go crazy, they never miss. Like, it's impressive how they can put out these updates every, like, one or two weeks. It's impressive, I gotta be honest. Alright, let's max out the Minato and see what he does. So, Minato has way less upgrades. This one has six upgrades, but they're all pretty cheap, I'd say. Reliable for infinite mode. Um, okay. Let's just compare damage. I think I finally got some good Naruto units. So we have uh, we have Obito, we have Minato, we got Nagato. I'm glad the Naruto units are finally getting some love because they've been trash for a long time. And I mean a long time. Back when the game was still early, there was like most of the units were so bad. Especially the Naruto ones. I don't know why they did them so bad like that. So level 68 Minato does Okay, so yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure that uh, pretty sure that Nagato is gonna do more damage when he's maxed out since I have him close to max, and he's doing the same damage or almost the same damage as uh, Nagato. So I'm glad that this unit is somewhat 
kind of better. I'm not sure though, probably not. But um, yeah, this is what Nagato is like. Place on another one. See how much it takes to upgrade him. So place another one here. Okay, so you want more than... Yeah, you're gonna need a lot more cash to upgrade it. Okay, so he's not the cheapest unit, but he's still good for story mode. Because he hits air units as well as ground units. So for, for like the current story modes, that'd be really good. Since a lot of them have air units and... To be honest, I usually ace at the back just stuff, so all the decelerators can get finished. But uh, yeah. How this goes? It's gonna be easy, bro. They didn't put the, the 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 demon like the one of the four star pains in bat until now. Update came out at like 5 a.m. for me. I played it at like 8 a.m. It's like 6 p.m. for me right now. So they took their time putting the demon one in shop, but they finally did, so I can make the video for it. Um, yeah. And I got the white beard while I was farming for, uh, while I was farming, so that's good. Alright, let's so put two of them here. Yeah, this is really cool. This guy definitely has better attack animations compared to white beard. Because, I'll show you, like, white beard, I'm gonna be honest, his attack animations are kind of lackluster. Um... Like, it's just, like, well, the effects are really good, they're clean as hell, but there's not much to go off of since Whitebeard just puts his hands out then, the, the, he used the Gura Gura no Mi, so, I don't know, they couldn't do much there, but Nagato is, looks really cool. Alright, the bots are gonna start coming in soon. See how fast they can kill him. The the bad thing about Nagato is that he, he doesn't have much range. He only has 35, compared to Minato as like 50 something, it's kinda weak. But, uh, yeah, we got this easily. This is cool as hell. Alright, now let's showcase why I get on Alabasta. Alright, so let's do the white beard showcase now. So let me see how it looks on my shoulder because I've only I've not put him on there yet because I've had uh, Minato on there forever. So let's put uh, white beard on our shoulder. I wonder if he has the magma effects and everything. If you put them on the shoulder, yeah, that bro, he is so. <laughs> they bro, he has a big character model. I, I think it's the same size as Broly's. I think Broly oh might be smaller God. though. His arm goes inside, oh my god, that's, that's kind of goofy looking, but... <laughs> Alright, let's put Nagato back on there. Alright, let's go do Alabasta now. He's definitely... Uh, actually, I'm gonna leave that for you guys to decide. To be honest, I don't think he's one of the best in the update, but he's still really good. So you can't place him right off the bat, so I'm just gonna place a uh, Nagato first. Down right here. Oh, I hate this small cutscene that shows you where the enemy spawns are. Cause if you're trying to place something, if you, if you're trying to place down something, it just completely throws you off. Uh, anyways, let's just put that down here. There. Okay, so I think they should add like an auto skip or like a two times forward. Because if you're making a video or like just playing a game in general, it's so slow. Like completing a story mission where like you can't skip since it'll get way too hard if you do skip. For example, I'm on the Demon Slayer storyline and skipping is just instant death for me. And I have to wait out each round, so I hope they have like a fast forward function. Like at least an auto skip for people who can actually like, you know, who have the units to auto skip. But yeah. I'm just gonna wait till I have enough for a white beard and I'll sell them out to and place them down. I'll jump cut to when I get enough money for him. And that didn't take too long. I'll Okay, I'll place down the black, the white beard right. Actually, I'll place him right here. Can hit everyone. 
last. I'll just keep a uh, keep one right here just in case any units slip by. Cause I think there's some decelerators on this stage. I'm not sure though. But like I said, the attack animations on Whitebeard are good, but I mean they. Uh, I don't know what to say really. Let's put this here to put get rid of anti. They couldn't do much since all Whitebeard does is either swing his um. I forgot what it's called, he swings the weapon and he does the Gura Gura thing Or he either just puts both arms out So they didn't have much to base it off of but I still think it looks really cool cause the effect here How it comes out and how it fades away It's clean as hell I think Mado did that, did this one I'm not sure though Alright so his first, his first starting stats if he's level 7, 27 151 damage, 25 range and 5 star um, let's upgrade him because I have enough money. Alright, so he's not good at stopping the decelerators, but we have not, Nagato in the back to stop them. He's gonna wipe out the stage because this is one of the earlier levels. Uh, yeah. The particles with the, with the rocks falling off look cool. And the, the, sh the shatter effect stays there for like a few, like maybe 10 or so seconds. Alright, next upgrade. Small damage increase, 378, same range, same seconds for attack. So next upgrade, he gets the earthquake or like island shaking, I think that's what they call it in the anime. But yeah, skip again because we don't need to worry about that. Upgrade now, go to back here, just keep that one safe. Um, but yeah. Personally, I think Nagato is one of the best in the updates. He hits air units and he hits ground units. It's a very good unit overall. But Whitebeard 6 star, he's well, he's good. Don't get me wrong, but Nagato is better and I think Gon is better. Well, I don't Gon. He's like a mini light Yagami from what I've heard. Which is really cool. skip again yeah so white beard is really expensive wait did i oh just a lag spike i didn't crash uh let's do this again what's up with the lag is is it just white beard being like it's my wi-fi uh okay let's do this again yeah the decelerators will always slip by if you have uh white beard yeah, one. Okay, so he's gonna get six spots. I don't know how to feel about that, but mm, he's, he'll still be good because the damage gets high when you max him out. Yeah, so he's full AoE now. He does island shaking or ground shaking. I don't know which one he does. Yeah, the effects always look nice as always. This game always knows how to do great effects. The fact that he's full AoE makes it really good in my opinion and gets a manual of ability at the last upgrade. Like those shockwaves effects, they put so much detail into these units. It's crazy. Alright, next upgrade. Oh yeah, he summons tsunamis. I forgot about that. One one K HP tsunami. Eh, it's not the best to be real with you. One K is probably gonna take out like what, one unit at, at best? Since we're on like an early storyline, it's, it's gonna take out a lot because most of them only have like 50 health or something. Uh, but I feel like they could have done more damage for the Tsunami. Since he has a 6 star and like 1000 for a 6 star. Eh, I don't know how to feel about that. He gets 7000 when he's level 80 but still. It is what it is still. I feel like Eren has higher damage, like uh, higher health. Titans, but I guess that makes sense since that's the only thing he uses while Whitebeard uses all of these attacks. Alright, so I think we're on the last upgrade now. It it, do, it doesn't show the manual skill here, but I'm sure he gets one. But yeah, Whitebeard looks sick. He's got the hole in his chest, got the magma flowing out. The, the weapon, I forgot what it's called because I'm not updated on One Piece. He's a pretty good unit, I, I'd say. But he, mm, I feel like they could have done better on the damage because Nagato is way better. 
like by far, but it is what it is. Skip here, Maximal. All right, this is Max. His manual is family overall. I feel like they should have put like the One Piece is real or something, because that'd be really cool to have since that's one of his like most famous quotes that most people know. But they did that. That's fine. That's fine. I'm gonna test out the manual ability on the boss. See if they get killed by one hit by the by the thing by the ground shaking. I'm gonna max out Nagato here since I have nothing else to do with the money. All right, so the tsunami is good at stopping decelerators, units in general. But if you use this in infinite mode, the tsunamis aren't gonna do anything at all. Because infinite mode units, they get tanky as hell. If you get to like level 30 or something, that's when the health just starts spiking up. <laughs> but yeah, this update was pretty good. I feel like they could have had like some more 4 star units, but it's fine. I feel like they should have had Super Saiyan Rose for the Goku Black, because the current Goku Black, let's be real, he's garbage. Bro, you're trash, bro. Is them tears, bro? Come on, bro. You gotta get you together, boy. Them. Oh, the interception! I wasn't even playing. I was wiping your tears off, bro. I was wiping your bro, bro. Where you going, bro? Where you going, bro? <laughs> bro, you're trash, bro. Bro, you're trash, bro. <laughs> I don't know why they gutted him like that, but you know, if they chose to do that, then whatever, man. <laughs> yeah. I hope they do add like a Zamasu unit, so his six star could be a fusion Zamasu. That's what a lot of people have been thinking so far. Which I think they'll probably do that because fusion. there's only one fusion unit in the game which is Gogeta. And he's really good for infinite mode. They've used him in the meta for a while but... Um, yeah, they should add like an air unit to replace Mihawk. Because actually I think Nagato has replaced Mihawk. At max he does like 1.5k damage and he's only level 45 right now. So... He could replace Mihawk since he has, uh, actually he has a bit higher spa, but he does more damage and, well, less range. Eh, I don't know how to feel about that. I feel like he should get a range upgrade, but then he'd be a bit too ho OP, right? I don't know. It, well, it would be cool if he got a range upgrade since he's just stuck at 35. Well, I think he had 25 at the start, but yeah, it is what it is. When the boss comes in, I'll just use the family overall ability to see how, how much damage it does. In my opinion, I think you should either summon for Gon, 4 star, or like actual 5 star Gon because he's like a budget light Yagami. He's not too good for story mode, but in it. Uh, but in infinite mode, he's really good because he's expensive as hell. He's like 40k to max out. Why have they added a Robin or like any of the uh, of the Straw Hat Pirates, like a five star Sanji or a five star Zoro? Because they've just been. I feel like they should add like a five star Zoro from this Wano arc, and he has the the Satoru style. I think that's what it's called. I'm not like like I said, I'm not caught up on One Piece, but and they could add Raid Suit Sanji. I don't know man, that'd be really cool. I think just focusing on like buffing old units right now and getting the six star versions out. I was really surprised they added a uh, six star pain because I thought it was only gonna be Whitebeard, but it's a nice surprise to see they added pain as well. Uh, we're almost on the final boss. He's gonna come in soon. Alright, here he is. This is Alligator, Crocodile, whatever you want to call him. Just wait, let's wait for this decelerator to come back in, kill them. Alright, let's see how much damage the family overall ability does. It only does like 2000 damage, I think. Yeah, that was around 2000, so it's pretty decent. It's 
not the best. Well, I think it's better than Fujitora's one. This is like a replacement for Fujitora, I think. Because Fujitora is like, he has, uh, actually no. I'm not too sure. I don't know who's better, Fujitora or Whitebeard, but I'd assume Whitebeard, so. Yeah, that's the end of the showcase video. I hope you all enjoyed. I'm gonna start making more videos like All-Star and All-Star related, so I'll see you guys later. Bye.